Hello and welcome back to No Man's Sky with myself, Hollow. Thank you so much for choosing to rejoin me. I just got hit by something. I think it was just a rock. You know, you never know. I was flying near some rocks. Look, look at all these rocks. One of them might have banged into me. You know what? I'm actually guaranteed. I'm pretty sure that happened. So last time we discussed how we found this second planet. Now, this is the planet we were just on. But behind it, just over here, is a planet called the... Sorry, what? The Tahan... Tahon Kunta... I can't even... It's there. And we're going to arrive there in a measly three hours. So everyone just... I want you to just get tight, you know, maybe get like a few snacks. You're going to need them. We're going to be here a while. I'm just kidding. Um, oh, hang on. Sorry. Let's press C to activate a star system scan. I just want to see what that's like. Oh. Alert. Received. Incoming signal detected. So there's a beacon over there. Right, so it's a good idea, it seems, to go to a beacon on each planet and reveal the areas. And it's going to be a really efficient way to discover and learn what's going on on a new planet. Now, the difference between the planet that I'm seeing and the one that I was on would be the fact that this one is this horrible desert planet and you can just see it, right? You can see that's a desert planet. But then, that one looks really green. So that's what I'm really excited about. Let's go into hyper mode or whatever we're going to call it. Pulse engine, go. All right. Get me over there. Get me over there. Holy shit. So we went from three hours to arriving in one minute. Now, what I'm super excited about is getting to, like, the atmosphere of the next planet and, and seeing it from the sky and just flying around for the first time as well. Just around the planet and, and seeing what's going on there. Holy shit. Even at this speed, another 50 seconds before we arrived there. Holy shit. Oh, my God. So, this is this is the planet we're going to go down to, right? But, I, again, I, I think it's probably smarter me to go to the beacon, which is going to reveal a lot of stuff to us first. Whoa, there's a planet behind this one as well. Look at that. There's another one there. Completely different one. It's a moon, actually. It's the, oh, that's the moon of this planet. And the beacon that we're heading to is actually the moon's beacon, not the planet's beacon. So we, there might be a planet beacon. Let's see if we can scan for it. Gotta watch out for these rocks. Look at the, oh, look at the hour rim there. That beautiful pinky purple. Wow. Okay, let's go to the moon. Let's go to the moon. We're gonna go to the moon, man. Okay, I gotta be really careful. I, again, I am nervous about the, the power I have. As you can see, the pulse engine fuel is on like 30%. This is doing fine. The launch thrust is doing fine. So I'm assuming this is the fuel of the ship when I'm just in this mode. But nonetheless, I do have to be aware. Whoa, 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 whoa. It's not bang into that rock. I do have to be aware of the fact that I'm consuming a lot of fuel when I use these engines. And as I upgrade them, they might get better, like they'll move quicker. Maybe they'll be more efficient. Hang on, are you telling me I'm, I'm still 30 minutes away from arriving there? If I don't... Oh, okay. Let's boost again. I hope I have enough energy for this. Oh, we're getting some pull now. Gravity is kicking in. I should slow down. Look at this, when I'm going at full speed, I'm like burning up, the ship's burning up, you see that? I gotta show you that again, look at that! Wow! Holy shit, okay, I can't fuck my ship up, I don't wanna do that. That's so cool! Okay, let's keep moving. The beacon's down there, on the other side. Ooh, careful, careful, careful. If I aim too low, wow, that's such a cool effect, it's so cool, dude! Whoa, we just, we just like went through the, 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 what is it called? The ozone layer or something? I don't know. Space talk, whatever. Planet talk. So look at this. It's got like a load of uh, craters. Is that water down there? It's a bit dark here. Maybe we're on the dark side of the moon, which means wouldn't it be like freezing on this planet? That would not be good. All right, let's slow down a little bit. The beacon's still pretty far away, but I think the beacon's the priority. Like, so there's a building here on my left, down on the left here. Let's go down a little bit. Can I not go further down? Ooh, whoa, 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 this feels weird. Look at this. Oh my, okay, we don't want to crash. Ah, we don't want to crash. We don't want to crash. I don't know how to land. 
I have no idea how to land. Uh, maybe I just aim for the water. Oh, there's something right there. Another fucking... There's a lot of buildings on here. On the moon. Okay, so press E to initiate landing. Initiating landing, landing sequence. Oh, that's pretty easy. Barren moon. It has very little flora or fauna. This is not somewhere I want to be for long. We want to go on the planet. Look at the planet! Holy shit. Holy shit. Right, so we got a few things near to us. Oh, we're going to not get there for another 13 minutes. Wow, we got to land closer. i got to be more aware of these things. Like, look, 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 there's this thing right here. So if I press E, initiate landing sequence, we'll land right next to it. I'm getting better. I'm learning. I'm learning. So it's only like 15 seconds away now. Awesome. And we should have low atmosphere on the moon, right? Uh, I mean, that didn't feel like I flew very high, to be honest. What's this thing? A save point. It's a type of desert, is this moon. Lovely, I just, I always want it to be on a desert. We weren't just on a desert. Press T to toggle torch. Ooh! <laughs> Yay! I have a torch. Okay. Right, so we need fuel. That's one thing that I need to be fucking concerned about. Power canister. Well, there you go. That's good. That's kind of what we're looking for. I will need a pass for that. Uh, it's a different type of pass to what I have. Okay. So what I can do is, because my life support power is low, I can use this power canister and fill my life support. Uh, you can fuel your weapon as well with it, apparently. But let's just do life support like so. And let's have a quick look at what we can make. So, a bypass chip. I wonder if this would work on this thing. Commonly used to hijack landing pad facilities to alien outposts, perhaps illegal. No, that's not the thing I was supposed to make. So I can't open this thing, whatever I'm next to. Look how purple it is. Oh, there's a bit of color coming in now. It's kind of nice. Right, we're going to need the ship. If we're going to get over to that beacon, we're going to need the ship. It's still quite far away on foot. Now, life support is being drained really quick on this place. Oh, bypass ship. Perfect. Uh, I can make one of those. We literally just looked at it. And... There we go. Shelter marker detection wavelength online. Local transmission station call sign online. Please select preferred destination. Uh, I guess I'd like to look for a monolith. Searching for ancient alien artifacts. Detected monolith. Six minutes away by foot. We can take the ship over there, no problem. I wonder what that is. Alien artifacts. Let's have a look inside, maybe. Yeah, Oh, What have we got? We got... A multi-tool tech, so we're going to learn some new technology. Uh, upgrade the beam with more focus. Cool. Uh, we have some... I don't know what the hell these are. Maps? Diagrams? First aid. Uh, I guess I'm okay. Cool. So this is like a some sort of research facility, maybe? Maybe we'll get a better look in this building. Also, look at that. <laughs> uh, let's just ignore that. Pretend, okay, we're just gonna, all oh, right. Uh, this is fine. Hold on, if I just, yep, thank you. No, no one mentioned that, it's fine. It reminds me a little bit of like a hospital, this room. Read encyclopedia. You have learned the Viking word for interloper. Uh. Uh. Maybe they know I'm here. Well, here's that thing in the middle again. The tower, the transmission tower, that's what it is. Long ago, it seems an automatic distress call went unanswered. If I can crack the encryption pattern, I could potentially extract the coordinates. I have to guess. Alright, 720. Oh, wow. Uh, I guess I guessed it right. Wow, the look. One in three. You're standing with the Corvax has increased. Who are they? What are they? So that's just discovered all of the air around us. There's a crashed ship. We found a crashed ship. That's what it was. It's a distress beacon that went out. There's a there's some crashed ship somewhere, and they obviously called for help. No one went to them. Let's have a look at this crashed ship that is really awkwardly hanging in the air. I, I'm not sure how I feel about this. It is somewhat immersion ruining, 
But at least the crashed ship's here for me to enjoy. Or shall we travel a certain amount of distance? Look at this. Like, look at that. That's just, just... Why? Hopefully this is just day one stuff. Like, I'm recording this day one. So, maybe it would be fixed. I hope in the future. Otherwise, that's kind of silly. Alright, what we got here? Look at this ship. It looks re... Ugh. What is that sound? It looks really different to mine. I can interact with it. Can I get in? Oh no, I'm just going to look at it. It's an abandoned starship with 14 slots. I can... Oh shit! I can compare it to my current ship and use this instead of my current one. Alright, well let's... Uh, let's compare. So this abandoned ship has worse slots. It has a pulse engine. Which is just normal, like mine. Nothing special about it. Launch thrusters. It has a phase beam instead of photon cannon. But it also has a photon cannon. It has a sec... Oh, wow. It's got an upgraded deflection shield. Hell yeah, let's take that. All right, so I can't appear to transfer things that aren't like an item, for example. So I really want this improved um, shield, obviously. So what I could do instead is... Repair all of this and get this change, this new ship, couldn't I? Ultimately, but what I want to do before I do that, just in case, is do this redeeming of this ship. Now, remember guys, I, I did say I wanted to enjoy the current ship, and we've done that for a little bit, but it's about time I actually do this. This thing, right here. It looks very cool. Now, we can actually understand what we're looking at now as well. Holy shit. It has a hyperdrive. User is advised to access hyperdrive systems through the galactic map. It's a propulsion drive that allows the starship to attain warp speed and jump from between neighboring systems. Right, right. And the phase beam, we have one of those. It's fully charged as well. The pulse engine and the launch thruster, they're good to go, though they don't have any fuel. Uh, deflector shield. Okay, so it's like a minor upgrade. And I think we have more inventory space here as well. So what I would do is I would just transfer all of this gear... That I've saved up. But the point is, I can find these down ships out in the world. And if they're better than the ones I have, then I might want to take it. You know, I'll, I'll leave my old ship behind and do this. Now, it would be great if I knew if there was a way to, like, destroy these things. Like, basically, you know, destroy them and get the technology involved with them. Like, instead of just repairing it, I could salvage it, for example, and get uh, the tools and stuff from it, which would be, you know, great, like, more fuel for my current ship, instead of just abandoning abandoning that. I'm assuming it's possible, but the problem is I just don't know how yet. Oh, look at this, though. My my life support keeps going so low constantly, and I, I don't know how long I can actually keep it going. Um, I do have a bit of stuff here, but it's not enough. It's just not enough. We have to get out of here. Into the new ship, though. Whoa, look at this UI. It's changed. It's nice. Okay. Uh, open your galactic map. We have one of those. Not enough fuel. No, 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 no. What have I done? Oh my god, do I not have any fuel? Here we go. Have fuel, have fuel, have fuel, have fuel. Oh god. It's a tiny amount. I don't have any pulse engine fuel. We're stuck on this planet. I can't leave this planet. It's a moon, not a planet. I can't leave this moon. Shit. Oh, thank God. You know what? In these in these, uh, these uh, caves, there's a bit of uh, life. Look, we found carbon. I can survive. But will I find the materials I need to get fuel? Surely I will. But for now, my priority is getting as much carbon as I can. I can't believe it. I've accidentally trapped myself on a fucking moon. A storage thing? What is that? What is that? The jetpack. Exosuit upgrade. What? I, oh, oh, oh! Holy shit! I have a new slot. It's just like a random upgrade that I found, and now I have one more inventory slot. Oh, thank God! I've been I'm struggling as all hell for like inventory space, and I maybe I could find more of these from ships as well. Wow, that's extremely useful. I have to keep my eyes open for those. Those are insanely good. Thank God I decided to come over here. Alright, we made it back to our spaceship. I gathered a lot of the fuel that you need for, like, low flying, planetary flying. So let's fuel this bad boy up right here. There we go. Okay, we have something. Jesus. 
Uh, we can lose this ridiculously tiny amount of iron. So now we have the fuel to lift off and launch. Now, it, it, as you saw, I lost 25% of my fuel. So every time I launch, I need to be doing it for a damn good reason. And I can fly into space now, right? But it's really not, like, that valuable. It's not that good to do. Um, because though I'll be able to fly up, and I'll be able to look on this map and see something cool, right? As much as I want that. Right now, I, I need to be able to get to the next planet. I'm not going to be able to do that without it taking, like, 15 fucking days. If I don't get this specific type of fuel. Because it's going to reveal the location of everything in the near area and give us a really nice view of this moon we have a new signal so we have that alien artifact place we now have a new signal that just popped up what is it it's just an outpost well it might have the fuel we need i guess it's worth it also there's apparently a bunch of stuff here that i should probably grab while i'm out there it is looks like a i don't know some sort of statue? I can't, I can't tell. Let's land. Here we go. So convenient. Ah, look. Big stone tablet thing. Also, tell me that's tell me that's what I need. It looks like a plant. It's it's fucking nothing nothing that relevant to me, apparently. However, it is a cave entrance, and I might need to go in there to have a look. But either way. Look at that. It's creepy looking. Look at that! Wow. I wonder what this does. Knowledge stone. I have learned the Viking word for visual. Well, at least it's better than interloper, which makes me feel really scared. Like someone's watching me. Look at this. It's like a world wonder kind of thing. The Costip... Oh my god. Gokustapia fragment. Okay. I'm gonna get a nice look at it. I place my palm on the monolith, then stand back when it melts in response to my touch. Molten rock drips down the stone, exposing a hollow interior. Inside I see riches that are beyond belief, ancient technologies and cargo that would aid my journey. Lava continues to drop, and the edifice seems unstable, but equipment that could aid me is within arm's reach. Suddenly, the voice of an ancient tribe shakes the ground I stand on. Stand back. I'll reach in. I really need the resources. It could be the resources I need to get to the next planet. I could offend this ancient tribe by reaching in. And if I step away, I might get nothing. It might be destroyed. Or I could be rewarded for not meddling. Ooh, I'm sorry. I need it. I'm reaching in. The molten monolith collapses onto my exosuit. The edifice is reconstructed, but the damage remains. I should have stepped back. I'm an idiot. Ah, I took a lot of damage from that. So now I just lost reputation with this faction. And also I took a lot of damage. Ah, don't be greedy. Don't be greedy. That's your lesson from this. Be smart. Look at that. I've lost standing with this group. Whoever they are, whatever they are. Hopefully I find them at some point. Another knowledge stone. Uh, detection, right. Well, I may have messed up, but I learned a valuable lesson. Respect this tribe, but I can't use it again. You only get it once. It is really cool, this. These little interactions, really, they're really smart. And another word for warp. I don't know what these, don't, don't these words do, though. What use they are. Well, I messed up. Messed up pretty bad there. But, uh, what can you do? I'm gonna go over to this outpost next. First, I'm gonna get this power. At least, at least I can use the plutonium to use the ship and do this low-orbit travel. It's extremely useful because, like, I could walk for 15 minutes, yeah? 15 minutes to get there. Or I could fly there in 3 seconds. So, I'll take the, uh... The latter. Pulse engine offline. There's some sort of interference. Interference, perhaps, from this outpost. Which looks very strange. This doesn't look abandoned to me. 
Look at this. Oh, it's really windy here. Holy shit. All right, so we got we got fuel here. Oh, speaking of fuel and stuff, let's keep myself alive, shall we? Let's uh, put some carbon in this, which I'm running low on, actually. I should get some more carbon. I wonder if I can get carbon from these plants here. I have to be on my best behavior now. Immediately drones showed up, and if I start mining while they're here, they're going to fuck me up. So where are we right now? In some type of waste next to this outpost. The purpose of it, yet to be discovered. I wonder if these guys are going to be mad with me, because they were mad with me before. It does look like there's some signal stuff going on here. Whoa, what is this? A bypass? Oh, a, a landing pad for my starship. Okay, uh, I can use that easily. Be very useful. But what's inside? <gasps> oh my god! Life form! I found a, a, an actual life form! What is that? Oh! Oh god, look at his face! Cadet Heps. Hi Heps. How, how's it going, man? You, you're an interesting, uh, whatever you are. Whoa. Hello. Uh, something warp. Oh right, this guy's a Viking. Right, so this this guy's race is a Viking, and because we've been learning word. Oh my god, that's so cool. That's so fucking cool. Because I've been learning these random words, right? So I've learned one like, like, what was it, trespasser or something. I learned the word for warp. I learned a couple other words as well. And now I can't understand anything he says except the one moment where he says warp. I understood that. Now if I go explore the world and learn more Viking language, I'd be able, I'd be able to actually see what he says. But for now, I just have to make the form of reaction. He's like trying to offer me a blueprint. Like, let's read this. The creature awaiting me has the manner of a warrior, but makes no move to attack. Instead, it grunts in a tongue I do not speak, then passes me a slate. With a start, I realize that I can understand the text on it. In disbelief, I try to catch the creature's eye, but it has already turned away in disinterest. I suspect it is a mere courier, not the author of this message. The slate also contains a blueprint for a new technology, a hyperdrive. Isn't that my current objective? Well, he's happy. Instructions on to build my own path through the stars. This will be invaluable. The warrior thing suspects it's... I wish I could read these things a little bit faster. He inspected something. Who knows? So we now know how to make a hyperdrive. And we need to make some sort of dynamic resonator. And I have the, everything else I need. Well, thanks. I need 20 carbon to interact with him. I can get that from outside. Whoa! <gasps> Oh, you cool with me just taking this? You fine with this? Oh my god. Oh, it's a new multi-tool with more slots. It has the mining beam and a beam intensifier, a plasma launcher, and it has a range booster on the scanner. I'll have to build another thing that I didn't have, the zoom, the binoculars, though I might not need them. Compare. Oh, it costs money. So if I accept, I can't. Right. So I need, I need fifty thousand or so overall units. This forty-eight k at the bottom right. I need that much money, and I have this much money. So as cool as this looks, and I'm so sad I can't take it. Apparently, I can't buy it, and I suppose he'll kill me if I try and steal it. Right. There's a trade terminal here as well on the wall. Welcome to the Galactic Trade Network. Sell I- Yes! Yes, that's exactly what I want. I want to sell this shit. I'll get rid of that. I'll get rid of that. I have some more stuff in my ship as well. And I just got 20k for that. What can we buy, though? Uh, we can get different plates, power canisters. Oh, you know what? I don't need to buy any of these things. Uh, oh, there's lots of resources here. Oh, can I buy the resource that can get me off this planet? There it is! Holy shit! I can buy it! It's not that expensive. We'll buy 30 and see how that is. We gotta go back to the ship anyway to get my other stuff to sell. Oh my god! I found a trade network! Right, so I've got all of these things that are green, right? Including the gold. Oh man, so I can sell all this. I wonder if it's gonna be worth 50k. 
also, I, you know, I found the fact I can get, I can get off the planet. I can get off the fucking moon, dude. Oh, okay. Go on. Uh, let's sell. Firstly, we sell all the shit we don't want. So, the get charms. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Whoa, 100k, dude. I've got enough money, man. I've got more than enough money. Hell yes, dude. Come on, baby. Give me the new weapon. I would like to purchase it. I would happily purchase this. Yeah, dude. <laughs> oh my god. Whoa. What? That's not my ship. What is this? Look at that. Wow. That looks so cool. New business. I've earned a certain amount of money. Oh, dude. Wow. I'm so impressed by this game. I, I felt it was really bare bones at first. I thought it was going to be bare bones. I had no idea what to expect outside of that. And I've just been exploring and finding more and more things that I'm like, I'm genuinely really blown away and excited for. Sentinel Hunter. Hunter. So is that the name of this or the guy who's flying? Oh, it's just a guy here. We're neutral with him. Interloper. The warrior makes a bark of acceptance to show its willingness to trade. I can buy and sell things from him as well. Oh, this is so cool. He has some. He has some. The stuff that I need. I'm buying as much as I can get. I'm going to buy it all from him. I can afford it. Yeah. Okay, cool. And I can make an offer on his ship. So I can actually try to buy his ship. Jesus Christ, he wants to buy it for two mil. Oh God, I do not have that, sir. But look at the inventory space he has. He's got like so many fucking impact thrusters and holy shit. Oh my God, I am so excited to get like higher level and, and more like just further in the game. Look, he's taking off. Whoa, there he goes. Oh God. And there's another one coming in for a landing, maybe. Look at this, dude. Look at that ship. Whoa. Trading outposts are amazing. Look at that ship. Let's see, let's look at what this guy's got. Oh, whoa. Look at that face. Holy shit. Okay. Another interloper shout. Uh, covers his teeth and stares out towards you. Is clearly willing to trade, but doesn't want to show emotion. It's kind, of, it's kind of reluctant to give any advantages to during negotiations. How much does yours cost, mate? Ah, it's actually cheaper. But look at this. God, the ships you can get. Well, on the bright side, I'm happy that the ship that I got like given for pre-ordering isn't OP. It's like a tiny, tiny bit better than the one that I started with, and that's fine. All right. Well, with my new mining tool. Let's get some carbon. Oh, that's so much faster and it's overcharge time. I can I can shoot for way, way longer without overcharging. That's really convenient. We're back on our damn ship, right? Do I have enough? I have enough. We have enough. Now, I don't want to fucking push my luck anymore. I'm done with pushing my luck. All of my inventory is emptied out now. See this, I can upgrade my tool as much as I want. Now I have an increased range boost on my scanner, but I don't have the uh, visor. I want the visor. So we're going to make that. So now I've got that on this multi-tool. Then also we can increase the reload speed, for example. We need to give it a way to attack things. It can't attack things. So now we have a gun on this as well. Um, and then we'll leave one spot. Let's not go too far with that. You know, I don't know how many resources I've got for that. Either way, our ship is capable of going into space now. I am off this moon rock. And where am I aiming? The green planet. We're going in. Oh, because of that outpost, by the way, I can't boost. Now I can. I'm out of range of it. Here we go. Get me to this planet. But wait, while I'm in space... Oh, rocks, rocks. Holy shit, rocks. Ugh. While I'm in the planet, let's... Oh, Jesus, that music. Let's finally press M and look at the map. <laughs> Holy shit, look at this. Okay, I don't know what I'm looking at. I'm in some sort of region here. What, what is this? Rotate. Whoa. 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 So that... That single dot 
right here, this thing, is that where we are right now? Free exploration mode? Whoa! <laughs> oh my god! Holy shit! Are these every... Are these galaxies or planets that we're on? Are we just on this planet at this moment? And there's like all of these in this specific galaxy or what? So if I press ho space, it takes me where I am. Right, right, right. Okay, uh, I can, I can accelerate. Oh, shit! <gasps> Whoa, holy shit! Whoa! <sighs> take, take me home. There we go. This is where I am, right. Well, what's next? So there's free exploration and path towards the galactic core. Galactic core? I'm supposed to get here for some reason. And then follow the path to each... Oh, there's a story, look. So I'm supposed to, like, it, basically that orb thing in my head, I'm assuming it wants me to go here. So if I follow this, I can see where it wants me to go. And it is 159 light years away. I'm going to really need to upgrade my ship if I'm ever going to make it to this place. Still, it's cool to have an objective like that. You know, even in this open world place where I can go do anything I want. It's nice to have an objective. God, this place, this map. They knew what they were doing with this, man. Oh my god. Wow. This game, dude. Okay. The extremely green looking planet looks a little bit poisonous to me from this angle, but we have no choice. I need to get down there, survive and thrive and upgrade the ship. But I'm gonna have to ha leave you hanging, I'm sorry. There's a space station over there. Ooh, maybe next time, after the planet, after the planet. But next time, I'm going down onto this green planet. We're gonna explore and discover what it has to offer us. We got the new weapon, we met life forms, we're learning more about the, the lore and the world and how it all works. And I can't wait to upgrade my ship and go to these new planets and follow the objectives. But for now guys, thank you so much for watching and joining me. I hope you enjoyed it, I certainly did. And I will see you guys in the next episode of No Man's Sky. Goodbye for now.